Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future videos. So today we are going to be talking about the possibility of a new Bleach anime in 2020. Everybody's saying, oh, there's a new Bleach anime, oh, there's a new Bleach anime. Uh, in reality, it is Bleach's 20th anniversary, uh, so my guess is there might be some sort of Blu-ray release type thing of where they are releasing all of the episodes they never finished on Blu-ray, uh, but I don't honestly think that uh, there is going to be um, a continuation of it on like a major network like Toonami or Crunchyroll or Funimation, etc., um, I think it's probably just going to be like a Blu-ray release, as I said, um, and that'll be probably the end of it. I'm actually going to uh, put the article on the screen for you guys, as you can see, and I'm just going to go ahead and read it off what it says. So it says, Bleach creator Kuba uh, Tights new work to be unveiled at Anime Japan 2020, a stage event to discuss 20th anniversary project for Bleach. So the staff at... Anime Japan 2020 event announced on Monday that the event will host a stage presentation titled Bleach 20th Anniversary and Taich Kuba New Work Presentation on March 21st. Voice actors, people's names I can't pronounce, um, and weekly Shonen Jump editor-in-chief guy's name who I can't pronounce, um, basically will, they'll, uh, are going to appear at the stage presentation. This event will also feature a stage presentation for Idle & Stir, uh, Cinderella's Girl Theater, which does not currently have an upcoming anime. Anyplex will also host an Anyplex new anime stage pre presentation on March 22nd. Kubo launched Bleach and Weekly Shonen Jump in 2001 and ended it in August 2016. Via Media published the manga in North America digitally in English as Suishui published new chapters in Japan. Visa Media also published the manga in print. The franchise has also inspired games, novels, stage plays, live action films that opened in July 2018. Kubo most recently provided character designs uh, for the pro for Project Soccer Wars in English video game. Um, Anime Japan 2020 will be held March 21st, 24th at Tokyo Big Site. The first two days will be public days and, and the later two days will be business days. Uh, so basically what you're getting from this little, little article here um is that as i said he's working on newer stuff the creator of bleach is working on something new for 2020 but that doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be new bleach anime it might be related to bleach it might be in bleach world with a different character that is also a possibility which i would be more than happy to see um but unfortunately it doesn't necessarily mean that we are getting bleach back in 2020 i d doubt we're going to see the end of this anime um as i said it, it did kind of cut off before the anime died out before um it even finished um even the english dubs i don't think even caught up anywhere near where the uh, anime actually was in japan at the time um i think some of the filler arcs unfortunately really really killed this anime otherwise it's a great series overall um but they just put in all of this filler. Um, in my personal opinion, I think after the whole Espada Roncar arc was done, that would have been a beautiful place to end it. Um, where, yes, Ichigo unfortunately loses his power, but at the same time, his life is kind of back to normal. Um, he can go back and be a regular high school kid and live out the rest of his life as he would a normal teenager would. Um, that would be, you know, that would have been a delightful, perfect ending, but no, they had to give him his powers back, do all this other crazy bullshit <laughs> uh, with the speed. Spirit King, etc. All the crazy Soul Society stuff. It's been a while since I've read the manga, uh, so I might be forgetting some details, but I hate to say after the Aranka arc, um, it became very forgettable to me as an anime, which is kind of sad because it was, at, at its peak, it was one of the big three. You had Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece um, were the big three. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z is probably somewhere in there as well. But at this point in time when Bleach came out, Dragon Ball Z was kind of done at that point in time. I think GT might have been going on still, but as it, nobody really... No, not too many people are in love with GT. I personally have no problem with it. Do I love it? Do I don't love it. I don't hate it, but... Um, it's just kind of there sitting in the background. So anyway, that's just a quick little video, a uh, little Bleach update. Um, I'll probably get this published soon enough um and then if there's any more information on it obviously march 21st is going to be more information on it. i think that's when we're going to get um the gist of what this 20th anniversary thing for bleach is actually about my name is steve gray thank you for watching and as always have a good one